welcome back. We are going scouting today a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with trying to plan a video. I just go by the seat of my pants usually. Um, I don't know where we're going to end up at today as usual. There is one, at least one little thing I want to see down here in the area. It's, it's old, it's antique, it's mechanical. Um, I have to stop and check that out. Uh, I don't know if it's just going to be a short video to do that today or if we're going to venture on out somewhere else. Uh, so this may be a short video. Um, Betty's fixed and ready to roll. I wanted to go out and do a little bit of scouting today on the motorcycle. And the GPS is ready to navigate. I want to check out, yeah, there's something not too far from here. It's antique, mechanical. You know, I like that sort of thing, so I'm going to at least check that out, and we'll see from there. Pretty bad when you can get lost with a GPS. I thought I knew where I was going, but I can't find it. But I ended up down here at uh, the port of Silverdale at the boat launch. I drove by where I thought that mechanical thing was, and it wasn't there. So it must be somewhere else. I don't know where it's at. It is a nice park. Plenty of, uh, well, you know, public restrooms here and trash cans and picnic tables and uh, nice play playground area over here. It's a nice park. I want to call it a marina. <laughs> well, it is like uh, of sorts. I guess it's uh, uh, the port. Yeah, Silverdale Port Park. I found this. Uh, interesting plaque in the sidewalk <laughs> this is uh we got some birds and uh we got birds and uh silly people maybe <laughs> i don't know what those are <laughs> people in distress ah uh, they're hiding from the big birds, the big monster birds. But I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I found it. it but it requires us uh, taking a little walk in the park to get to it. Excuse the helmet hair. <laughs> okay, it's about to, what's that say? Suquamish people. You could hit pause if you want to read all this. I'm thinking it's low tide right now. <laughs> More of those dying, you know, blackberries that are not ready yet. I think I found one. Yes. 
and it looks okay. Mmm. Yum. It is okay. I could use a bucket of those. What is going on with this? What is it? What was it? What did it used to do? Okay, good. There's a plaque here. I'm going to guess. Yep, I can see it from here. Of course, it's lumber related. I do not know how to pronounce that. The Warehorn saw. Letterhead illustration showing the Warhorn, Warhorn plant in Germany. 100th anniversary from 1892 to 1992. This was their anniversary letterhead, I guess. Large reciprocating or gang saw was built into built to withstand the rigors of continuous sawing of heavy timber. Hmm. It was manufactured by the whatever company, Delman Horse Germany. The company supplied equipment to many other Northwest sawmills between 1950 and 1960. You can pause again if you want to read the rest of that. Essentially, it worked like a giant bread slicer. <laughs> the raw logs entered into one end, fed into tooth, tooth feed rollers, which gripped the log through the saw. Sliced boards cut by the saw into specific sizes, exited the other end. It was called a reciprocating saw because it could repeat this procedure at a feed speed of six foot, six to forty foot board foot per minute. Please don't climb on it. Huh. So that roller thing up front grabbed it and pulled the log through. And we have this big flywheel thing that made this thing go up and down. There's two more feeders up here, it looks like. Well, there's what's left of the saw. There's one of those gripper things up there. Pulled it through. Or it ran that one <laughs> that pulled it through. Had some little rails on here for some reason or another. Don't know. This looks like a little oiler box. Little sight glass in there to tell if there's oil in the box. It may have lubricated that drive chain we saw over there. And something about big old fly that still has the still has the big V-belts on it. One's missing. It ran four four big V-belts. Yep, gizmos and gadgets. Valves and pipes and yep. Okay, so the middle piece goes all the way through. That's a crankshaft, and there's a big flywheel. This thing here is a big connecting rod. Goes up and runs that stuff up there. Somebody seems to have uh, left a towel behind. Yep, gizmos and gadgets. I sure wish I could find some more blackberries. Their season will be soon. Yeah, it had four drive pulleys on the other side. There are four V belts. Four V belts on this side. And that one would have had eight. Eight V belts. Went somewhere.
another flywheel and connecting rod on this side. It's just like a big old rusty monster, isn't it? Built in Germany. So I guess we'll get on about a business. I love these paths that, you know, the trees you know, make like a canopy. Got nice shade in here in this area. So I don't know. I am going to take a ride further today and go scout out uh, some areas. I don't know if that's going to make this video or if I just wanted to share this little tidbit with you and we end the video here. Maybe we'll end the video with this one more point of interest. Okay, here's these rocks here. I seen this on the way to the saw. I wasn't sure what to make of it. This must have been a, a, a steamboat stop, stopping point. Uh, Captain and Elizabeth Thomas. Oh, 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 I'm sitting on my foot wrong. <laughs> Captain and Elizabeth Thomas Martin Patricia. The Silverdale, Bremington, Seattle, and other points. Uh, it's, I must have called this the Madison Stop. I don't know. By steamboat. Oh, Madison, by steamboat, by steamboat, the Washington route. I don't know what to make of this. Exactly. Anyway, I think I'm going to record an ending because this might just end here. So I need an ending. Thanks for coming along. Like, comment, share, and subscribe as always. Um, anything else? Nope. Yeah, thanks for coming along today. Thanks for watching our videos. Um, until next time, take care out there.